Top of the morning to you fishing freaks. We are here at the Guggen HQ getting ready to give it a dangle. We have atmospheric conditions that are changing y'all. I cannot believe it. We have rain possibly in our forecast. Actually, it's most likely. So a little bit of a temperature drop today and old buddy Rob called me and uh, he's ready to come out of the, he's ready to come out of the bullpen, do a little dangle. It's one of those things where buddy's just like, hey man, did you see, see that front's coming in, dude? Front's coming in, dude. Deer gonna be on move, bass gonna be biting, dude. And we got some updated samples of some fishing reels that we need to check out. So uh, that's part of the goal for today. I do think a little top water might be in order today. I'm running low on frogs, so I'm gonna come in here and see if I can pick up a couple of filthies. Definitely just set off the master alarm when I came in here. Had to run, go turn that off. Hopefully I did it in time where the popos don't come get me. Okay, filthy. Got our filth. Now let's head to the lake. Rob, it's a rainbow. What do you think that means? It means that these reels that we're about to test are about to be amazing and that I don't want to be editing this video anymore in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. Good things to come. Dude, you did it. <laughs> did it. That's the, that's the, I think the first bass. First ever, Texas, that's the first Texas bass. You ever caught say. on one? Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. I'll take it. Summertime little swim jig. Grass hero. Oh, God. Come on out of there. Oh, how, I'm about to rehook them. How'd it feel? How'd it feel? Actually, the the reel itself, I'm very impressed. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm very, very like look at this, this is like. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm actually impressed. Another one. Oh, look, what is it? You go. You got one. It must, I think a little it's point. A, it's a gar or something chasing bait or something just chasing bait right It's raining. I'll take this little rain all day just because we've been sitting in 100 degrees, 105 for a couple oh, weeks. Did you just have one? Yeah. Just slacked you? Um, I've got a frog on. We put braid on our reels. I ate my... He's actually, oh, he took a claws. He's actually left-handed uh, reels. Rob's left-handed. I'm right-handed. Um, no, I'm right-handed. I fish okay. left-handed. Okay, he right-handed, but he fishes left-handed. I had an early version of this reel, fished it in really clear open water up in Michigan and it was a it was a previous version so this one has been updated. I don't know, I'm gonna get out the other camera out. We're just waiting for this rain to uh, subside a little bit. I'm throwing a frog straight on braid. This is the this is the most you're gonna test your reels when you're fishing braid and grass. Organic natural uh, heavy lifting for a reel. Why isn't that focusing? Being Lunkers TV <laughs> on the water. <laughs> Again. Yeah uh, What's a windy day. Windy day. What's funny is um, I was talking to you on the way over here. I had the same audio set up the first time I think we fished together on this channel. <laughs> we were uh, we were at a grass lake, actually, I think. Uh, we were on uh, uh, Fairfield. Fairfield, yeah. yeah. And um, Fairfield. yeah, you flew a drone. Dude. That was a big deal back then. That was a huge deal. It's like, man, you got a drone? Hang on, let me get under the console and get some shots. <laughs> let me hide. It'll be, it'll be really neat. Two weeks later, everyone had uh, drone shots on the internet. Yeah, I, think we, I think we really did that. Oh, yeah. We showed the internet how to do it. Didn't have a single Guggen fishing product at the time. Now we've got about 4,000. Now, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many skews, but it's quite a bit. And we're trying to add trying to add one more to the equation. Probably the biggest one, some would argue, is a fishing reel. Uh, so we're we're throwing uh, braid, we're throwing fluorocarbon, we're throwing different action rods, we're fishing in grass, we're fishing in the wind, we're messing around with the clutch, cast controls. Uh, in general, we're pretty hard on our equipment to begin with. Um, I know Rob's broke a few of my nice reels. Yeah. Um, I stepped on one that was like a 500, what was it, Metanium? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metanium? It was a pretty nice one. Yeah, stepped on the reel. Um, 
we've broken a lot of stuff. See, you, you get on, you get on the boat, you get excited, and sometimes there's a few beverages involved. Things happen, but that's normal. So we're here to just see if, uh, if these things are going to hold up to Guggen's fishing with them. Some of the notes that we had on making these reels were durability. Oh, bulky. God, I just had one right there. Like bulky in a, not a bad way, but like big enough to handle all the equipment or all the parts in there and not. Uh, it sucks when you have to buy like 18 different reels. That was the worst thing. I've got like four different brands of reels right now. Yeah, I've got, I've got four different brands of reels. <laughs> you, had to, you had to get low. Yeah. I've got four different brands of reels because I have so many different techniques and we got kind of tired of having to buy so many different reels when you should just be able to have one. I like, well, I'm going to revert back to like the old Corrado 200B. Uh, yeah, I, when everybody had a, a boat full of them or a closet full of them, there was like one reel and they're still around today, still still kicking. They were overbuilt, oversized. They're bulky, but it's uh, it's like that old Chevy, man. It's like that old diesel. It just no, it's kind of like a seven three Ford. Seven three Ford. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that rod is power stroke. Did yeah, I just step on that one? That rod is done. See? That rod. You're gonna cast it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm the same way. I've got. I've got a lot of really light, small reels. They're a pleasure to fish with, but always having issues with them. They're real, uh, it's like a Ferrari, man. You know, a little, little tune-up on those babies. You gotta tune them up. Or a high, yeah, high maintenance, hot, hot gal. I want that old gal that, man, I just come home, there's like, there's like baked chicken and uh, she gives me a big hug and, you know, we just enjoy sunset. That's it, we don't have to go purse shopping. None of that, none of that. We just enjoy each other's company. That's what I want this reel to be. Who loves short shorts? Man, I wish I had that pattern, I don't have those. Babies are, uh, these are dropping the, the I got, 28th. I got dressed in the dark this morning. I, I had someone comment, they uh, they thought our apparel looked like pajamas. And I was like, yeah, you're not wrong, really. Yeah, pajamas are the best. I wish I could wear pajamas every day. I kind of, I kind of do. Where was this? Is this for someone going up north or something? What's in there? Oh yeah, this is definitely is a... up north. I see a black hair jig in there. Oh yeah, north bag. That's north bag. You throw out there. Oh! Oh no! Yeah, I did it. I did it, dude. You did, and you... I left-handed her. You did. Oh, felt nice. It's a filthy fish. That's one of them, uh... Filthy juniors. You know, just kind of open water walking that baby. Still overcast. It's kind of nice. Tasty one there. That was probably a really odd hook set. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, which way do I go? I, where's my. It was probably good for a frog because it was delayed. We should also dunk him in the water. Like it for sure is a lot louder than sort of. This is always my favorite way to cast. But yeah, that next that next cast is gonna be a little loose. I saw it uh, vibrating. What depth? Oh okay. Got him. Oh, good in there, bud. A worm fish. A worm fish, about as Texas traditional as you can get. Talk me through that uh, that real experience here. That real experience on this one's actually not bad. I'm not even doing. I didn't do very much to it. It's kind of weird, which makes me think: it, is it QC then? At that point. Well, definitely could be. Because <laughs> we, we definitely need to make sure we mark these things. Like, look. 
Yeah. See? See, this one hasn't been messed with yet. Feels pretty, pretty good. That one you have right now? Yeah, it's kind of a virgin. It's, it's doing pretty good. test right here. Good rod test too. I think that it's starting to rain y'all so we're gonna head in. Got some good notes. We got the pros and the cons. Got old lunky lunk out here on the water. Caught a few fish. Not bad so we'll take it back to the treehouse. Hard transition back to the treehouse. Let's do a chicka check real quick. We got some updates here y'all. So I got home like an hour ago and I decided I'm just going to take this whole netting situation down. We're going full free, full free mode with the younger chickens and the older ones. And oh, the integration process is going pretty good, I think. Naked Egg is getting real chirpy right now because she really needs to lay an egg. She's, she's been trying. She's been trying to push one out. You can do it, girl. You can do it. Yep. Still no egg yet. Some of y'all have noticed some of the reels that I've been using the spinning side on the spinning side um, in my videos. Let me step away from these chickens because they're really rowdy right now. I honestly think they're good to go. I really haven't had any negative feedback. I've been using those since February. Um, and it's, they've been good. I really can't find anything wrong with them. I don't use spinning reels a, a ton. I'm, I'm probably 80% bait casters definitely have a use for spinning reels but um I, i'm just i'm happy with those i think they're good to go i got one thing i need to do today before we before we sign off i need to go check the p.o box well y'all it would appear we have a couple packages here haven't opened them so we're gonna open them on camera this is from josh josh thomas we got some dip cans right here. I don't think there's dip in there. It does not feel like chew. There's a little bit of snuff in there. Oh, he did it. <laughs> oh man, Josh, this is awesome. This is beautiful. Look at that. Flint points, guys. I'll get a close up here in a second. Flint points. This is for the primitive arrows. And he's got some hide for me, some sinew. This looks like back sinew. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. This, it, this will be going on arrows. Hopefully nothing in here is gonna stab me. Put that on here. Oh, no way, he finished it. He already finished a bamboo tip, look at that. Oh my gosh. More stone points. Really, really good. He's got different styles too. Huge thank you to you, Josh. Thank you, man. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for paying attention and watching uh, my archery journey. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is a tool that I don't have that I've needed dramatically. Mr. Rackley, my name is Mark. I live in Kentucky. I'm a huge fan. Saw your last, saw your episode working on your bows with a machete. It made me cringe. So this is from Mark Yoakum from Kentucky. And this is a draw knife, folks. And what is so cool about this is this one is, this one is old and used. And I thought about trying to find one at, you know, an old barn sale or something like that because there's just something special about an old tool like this. But you use this to make the bows. And literally, this is such perfect timing because I was gonna start uh, my last bow that I'm gonna make for this, this year, this weekend. So this is my archery. My weekends are basically full of archery. I'm definitely gonna be using this to start making that, that Osage bow. Guys, thank you so much for following my journey as an outdoorsman. You know, I know I've, I've, I've started in fishing. I've always, I've, bass fishing was my, my passion. Um, 
and I tried to make it, you know, as a, as a pro and go in that direction. And I, I've always just wanted to work in the industry. And I, I've, I missed out on a lot of, um, a lot of good exploring hunting and, and getting into archery and uh, being a good rifle uh, shooter and, and all of these things when I was, um, you know, trying to be a pro bass fisherman because it just takes up so much of your time. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do that now and I'm just really enjoying it. I'm glad you guys are, are coming along for it and, uh, and they're with me, man. These stone points, these old tools, this is stuff that um, it's just really special to me. So I, I dig it 1000%. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna sign it off right here on this good feeling note. Thank you guys for the packages. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you already are, hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below. Boost the algorithms if that's even possible. I'll be here making these videos for you guys either way. God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. We'll see you next week.